So let's look at Drunk and close down the Jailer bro With the crab rider taking the back by flooring his knee out So from that cross sleeve Della Heva Same stuff Make it move into Della X Sit up, make that 2 on 1 grip Try to get Jerome's hands in that, he drops to the knee, we'll look at the next move if he actually doesn't drop to the knee. So now, if his knee's pointing in, it's easy for me to get the profile to get into the crab or to take the back. But he flares his knee out, any time it's that, there's just a wall or a barrier. So from this position, <clears throat> once I'm here, I'm going to release with the grip um, under the armpit and come underneath and get that kind of lapel single grip that we played in the lapel guard. So now he still have control of his posture. Throne starts the posture from where it's difficult, just with the, with the that grip. Um, let me just turn this way. Buddy. So once we're here, sometimes the reaction then when I make this grip will be Throne will start to um, find my hook and push it down. The minute he does, I just find the sleeve, and now we're just into our basic tilt sweep that we covered in the Dell X system. So again, from here. I'm going to build the base from my hip to my knee. And now we're really into that cradle pass position. From here, where now I can win the underhook, replace, and replace. Do that again. Just go on, just go on the side again. Yep. So we're here. Cross sleeve de la Heva on the ankle, use that to get into the X, two on one, get him into the knee, turns his knee out, so I come through, and I can use my right hand to pass it to his left, so I have this sort of lapel grip, to him, try to pass it from there, it's difficult, and now when he goes to push that foot down, I just find that sleeve, pull it towards me, and I just we have our basic tilt sweep from that position. So again, once I'm here, I'm on my right hip, I'm gonna build the base, to my left knee, I'm going to bring my second knee in and go wide and put a lot of pressure on him. From there, I'm going to win that underhook, put my head in the mat, right hand replaces right knee, and then I can move the side control. Um, well, let's look at if he doesn't push down, um, that's it. so if he doesn't make the reaction, um, Trying to push my hook out, I'm just coming up and taking them over. I could go down a variety of different ways. So we're here. Got an X. Two on one, get under the knee. He flares that knee out, which means I'm coming through and grabbing that lapel. So this time he doesn't make that reaction. Another thing he can do is he can keep pushing with that hand, and that hand then can grab my collar from here. He can start to try and turn to face me. I still want to be, um, if I, I don't want um, him taking this hand and being able to turn his whole body to fit, yeah, that's not good for me. So I can still use that grip and still continually make him keep that weight in that hand. So now from there, disengage my foot, and now I'm into S mount. I can just come up to here, find the head, and then I just drop him down onto his shoulder again. We're back into that cradle pass position. So again, I can um, use my right knee to reinforce my left knee, win the underhook, right hand replaces right knee, and I have that cradle pass again. Some more angle on that bro. Just there. So cross sleeve Della Heva, transitioning into Della X. Two on one grip, get his hand on the mat, he flourishes his knee out, I grab that lapel. Again, if he's really posturing, I can just pull him down with two hands. He doesn't make that grip, so now from here, I'm coming up. From here, maybe if I come to here and I can't take him over, I'm just going to push him straight down. And then I can start to work the pass again. So, um, options if we can't get on the back or <coughs> crab right.